What's going on? Rob Fish here from BikeBandit.com, and we are in the mecca of awesome. We are at One Industries headquarters here in San Diego. We're BikeBandit.com. We're based here. This is ground zero for the motorcycle industry. So, have you paid attention to who's standing next to me here? This is the man, the myth, the legend, my mannequin. And what he is wearing from One Industries is the Gamma series, and this is their flagship. They make two flagship series, essentially. They make the Gamma and the Vapor. The Vapor is a whole nother tech material, which makes it a little bit lighter. But So you're gonna get a little bit more robust of a, of a garment with the Gamma. Right from the, right the get-go, let's just talk about it. Sizing, the jerseys, small through a 2X. The pant, a 28 to a 38 US men's waist sizes. Seven different color options. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what you're riding, you're gonna look good, Gamma from One Industries. This is their, what they're calling the navy colorway. Navy, see it? And the gloves, you have five, convenient, right? Five different color options, again, extra small through 2x because again hands are a little bit different so they give you a little bit more uh, size range when it comes to that the gear is awesome it is dialed uh, I ride off-road I've worn this I've worn that I've worn this stuff this stuff is where to put your money <clears throat> incredibly incredibly sturdy and stout but it's almost entirely built out of stretch panels wait till we get to the pants but let's dive into the jersey and take it top to bottom right off the bat a a moisture wicking material is used for the entire jersey. They don't, okay, hey, we're a little hit, a little here, a little there, a little bit here, no, no, no. The entire thing sucks moisture off of you, keeps you cool, keeps you happy, keeps you riding, good stuff. The graphics themselves are sublimated in. Two reasons for it. One, you don't have panels on top of panels, which adds weight and bulk, and you don't poke holes, which compromises the structural integrity of the garment. You'll notice Underneath the armpits and halfway down the, the, the sleeve, that's all fully perforated. Again, put some wind down there, that keeps you cool and happy. I'm going to spin this bad boy around here really quick. Come on, pal, jump around. Does it cost a little bit extra to manufacture it? This is in a gigantic stretch panel up on the back of your neck. Again, super well thought out. What they've done is they've also rolled that seam so that you're not going to get that leading edge of the fabric grinding you and chafing down your neck. Super well thought out. Come on, pal. Pay attention. I need you here. Turn up his hearing aid. Drop top on the collar. Again, so it's going to be comfortable with or without a neck brace on it. You'll notice exactly how they've cut and contoured that. You give it to the pros and go, hey, what would you do? Well, I like a little here because this is where this rides. This is, I get a little bit of rubbing. Not a problem. Put a panel there. They put all the seams in places where it's not going to sit under armor, sit under protection that's going to, you know, press against you and your skin and make it uncomfortable. Really, really well thought out. When we dive into the pants, this is a work of art. You're going to find a lot of the features, let's say, on their... Uh, on, on their entry level gear on the Atom, just take that and bring it up a level. You have a, still a ratchet enclosure. So yes, use the size chart and get yourself narrowed into roughly what's your waist size or just look at your jeans. Ratcheting closure system. Again, kind of like the Atom, but more robust. It's a little bit beefier, a little bit more stout. And what that does, with just a quick move of your finger, you know, obviously you're gonna climb in like that and then to release it is just lift your finger out. Really, really easy. Functions like a champ. Got to get my own glove out of the way. Well, well thought out. When you look at the chassis of the pant, it is almost entirely built on stretch panels. If you get caught or bound up in these pants, that's not the pants' fault. That's you and your riding style, and I don't know, but maybe I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Very, very, very robust. Like, I, I like that word because it is such a stout, stout chassis you'll notice that this is all perforated down through here, perforated down the side. You actually have scoops down on your knees. Again, because when you're in that riding position, kind of like I am now, that just sticks out to the side, channels air up your thigh, keeps you cool. This, 
you can actually hear it. It's, it's a, a much more textured material where up on the top of your thigh, you're not going to have the abrasion resistance or the, uh, the, the abrasion that you are on your seat and on the seat of the, of the pant. So they can make it a little bit thinner, but they provide a little texture to it. This is a gigantic stretch panel through here. You have stretch panels not just over your knees, like in a single panel in a straight line. This entire panel is all stretch accordion moving and grooving. You wear knee braces, you will not bind up in these pants. This is actually padded underneath here all the way around for just again a little more protection and you've got some TPR panels up on top of your knee here. Again just so hey if you do have a get off you're actually rubbing on these and not on the chassis. You will find through here everything is going to be double stitched. In the seat of the pant it's even triple stitched. Again just much more robust there's that word again. The way they've done, and we're just going to work down the front of the pant. The way they've done that their cuffs. A lot of companies like to tailor that cuff down, put a, an actual cuff like you'd find on a sweatshirt on the bottom. The problem is, is once you climb into your boots, cinch and buckle those up, a lot of the times that'll create a pressure point and a little binding spot. And it can actually impede circulation to your feet, which are your controls. That's not a good idea. What they've done, again, stretch panels. And they've left it quite loose. Really, really a, really a well thought out garment. I'm going to spin this bad boy around here because the panels on the back are absolutely amazing. Again, done quite, quite, I don't want to say thin, but it's a little bit thinner up top here. Inside, of course, that's rubberized to keep your jersey nice and tucked in there. Take a look at this. This is that same material that they've done on the front, but this is all triple stitched and stretch panels. Look at this. This is a stretch panel, folks. Doesn't matter how big your calves are, how low your knee braces go, the length of your leg. They, this is so well thought out. Again, you've got some more TPR paneling here. On the inside, this is all triple stitched. Leather. Like the Atom, a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker. Again, built robust. This will be a pair of, pair of pants and a riding kit that you're going to have for a while. This is not going to be a one-time shot. Let me bring this guy back here. Hang tight with me, folks. All right. my buddy. He's a trooper. Goes with me everywhere I go. He's wearing a glove. I'm wearing a glove because we're friends. So we share things just like we're sharing information with you as bikebandit.com. Another work of art. That's the Gamma Glove. You'll notice the palm. Clarino, but it's almost entirely two layers of Clarino where you're going to have high, uh, high abrasion potential in a crash scenario. But it's single up on your fingers so you get a nice feel on the throttle tubes. <clears throat> Excuse me, on the grips. Throttle tubes, this hand, that's his glove. You've got the rubberized texture material up on your lever fingers. Stretch panels almost entirely on the back. Check this one. They put stretch panels into your fingers, which when open, turn into vents, channeling air. Keeps you cool. Mesh up on the top, some rubberized padding on your knuckles. TPR, traditional, standard, Velcro closure on that. This is all stretch. There's no bind in this glove at all. Great armor, great protection, obviously great style. Again, TPR panels over your knuckles. If you already know you want it, again, use a size chart, put it in your shopping cart. Let's get it on the road. Let's go, go riding. That's the Gamma Series from One Industries. I'm Rob Fish. We're Bike Bandit. Please, if you've got other questions, pick up the phone, give us a shout. Send us an email. Click on the Support tab. Click on the Support tab. Rob Fish for Bike Bandit saying thanks for watching. We love you, so you should like us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. Enjoy your gear. Enjoy the ride. We'll see you soon.